Hundreds of athletes running, jumping, and throwing inside of a blue oval. There's nothing like it. The state tournament at Iowa High School at Drake. Let's see the action from 2A and 3A this afternoon. We start with one of the most decorated Iowa athletes ever. Ballard's Peyton Noe defends her 3,000 meter title in fashion, shattering the state record by 17 seconds. That's pretty incredible for someone who didn't know the time to beat before the race. I didn't know exactly what it was. And then when I was running, I actually heard him say it, and I was like, I can get that. So um, that kind of was a new goal when I was running. But um, yeah, so it was awesome to be able to get that. Two-way boys at 3,200, Aaron Feinhart breaks through and keeps the 3,200 crown with Des Moines Christian for the second year in a row. Staying with the 3,200 in 3A, it's Pella's Chase Lauman winning it for the second time this year at the Blue Oval, once at Drake, once at State. In the 3A high jump, ADM sophomore London Warmoth surprises herself and jumps 5-7 to an emotional victory. I've never been ranked highest in a big meet like this, and it's, it's a dream come true. There's more than, there's no words. It's, it's really a dream come true. Let's go to the four by eight and two way. Van Meter with a sizable lead that they don't give up. The Bulldogs take home the crown for the third year in a row, this time with a freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. Same race in 3A, it's Gilbert by a full 10 seconds. The Tigers go from 21st a year ago to on top this year. Having these new girls come in and just absolutely smash it, they're doing so good. It's just been an incredible feeling seeing that improvement. Boys 3A, 4x8, North Polk has their best race of the season and go from not qualifying in 2022 to winning it all. And we knew that to win, everything would have to go perfect and it just did. The 400 and 2A, it's Jaden Sellers from Panorama running a 56-67 and edges out Bailey Voss from Pella Christian. Earlier in the day, we also saw some great performances in classes 1A and 4A from defending champions to their crowns to state records being broken. Local 5's Rana Garcia breaks it all down. It was a great day for several defending champions. The two-time 1A girls shot put state champ from Bishop Garrigan, Audie Crooks, earned the top spot on the podium once again for her third straight title in the event. And being a senior, it's nice to go out on top. It's been a great atmosphere, great past three years, three trips down here. I couldn't ask for much more. We had another repeat champ in the 4A girls 3,000 meters. Valley's Addison Dornkamp successfully defended her title with a time of 9 minutes and 46.33 seconds. Dowling Catholic's Jackson Heidish earned his first victory at this year's meet in the 4A boys 3200 meters. And he's just getting started. One down, three to go. The senior looking to make his final high school season one to remember. It's a great feeling and this is my last weekend in the Blue Oval, so I'm trying to save every moment while still trying to run my hardest. We also saw some first-time champions emerge. Ankeny took home its first ever state title in the 4A girls 4x800 meter relay. It feels amazing. Yeah, it's yeah, awesome. And to awesome. get the school record in that event too, yeah. just like all sophomores and a freshman, it's just really cool. In the 1A boys 4x800 meter relay, the winning legacy continues for Earlham. A strong finish from Malachi Hale secured the Cardinals' fourth straight state title in this event. Catching those guys, that was fun. My game plan going in was to just you know, sit behind them, let them do the racing for me, really. In that last 200, just to give it everything I have left. More local athletes finished first in their field events. Waukee Northwest's Luke Morrison won the 4A Boys Discus state title, and Waukee's Josie Moreland defended her state title in the 4A Girls High Jump. The last 1A and 4A finals of the day featured a first place finish from Ankeny's Jack Belding, Norwalk's Claire Farrell in the girls' 4A 400 meters, and a new state record setting win from Mount Ayers Rice Reynolds. It's been more than I could ever ask for. Um, I'm so grateful to have all the coaches and the family and the teammates that I do. Um, I know I would be nowhere near who I am or what I've accomplished uh, without all of them. 